In today's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video, I'm going to show you where all 50 intel locations are in the Spec Ops missions. We're going to start with low profile and the first one is literally as you jump out the plane, you will see a small middle island between A, B and C. You're going to need to go there from the skydive from the plane because there is a intel on top of a tower that you can't get to without actually skydiving on top of it. This is on the north side of the island you'll see the small tower it's a small square tower i'll show you where it is on the map when we get down there but basically you're going to want to skydive on it and you'll see that there's a box in one of the corners of the tower you're going to want to skydive down to that and then once you get down there you can land on it and pick up that intel that is the first one and then you can move on to the next ones as you can see it's here on the map The next one is just here on the map on that same middle island. If you come to this location you'll see a C-shaped bit of water and you're going to actually want to dive in this bit of water. So when you dive down straight underneath the water you'll see another box, you can pick that up. That is intel fragment number two, nice and easy one to get to. And there's one more on this island that we'll go to now and then we'll make our way from point A then to point B then to point C. So number three is located on this building here next to that T-shaped building. We're going to then want to head from that pool of water towards the H-shaped buildings over here. So from the T-shaped building you can dive in the water and head southeast. You go underneath the water and you'll see two tunnels, one that goes left and one that goes right. You're going to want to go right and you'll go underwater and see there is another box just sitting there. You're going to want to pick that one up. That's number three. Now we can move over to point A, get all of them around point A and then move our way around. So at point A, you can stand on the road. You've got the armory over to our left and then directly opposite the armory, we have another building that sort of overlooks it. You're gonna wanna go to the back of this building and you will see a ladder. You're gonna wanna climb to the top of the building here and you'll see a metal structure sticking out the top. By the bottom of this, you will see another wooden box. You can collect it. Here it is on the map for reference for you. And that will be your fourth intel if you're picking these up in this order. Then just jump across to the armory itself. There are three inside of this building. As soon as you go in on the bottom floor, there are tons of traps in here, so be careful. You'll see two doors going to the left one first, and on the middle table, there will be a flash drive here for you to pick up. And then it's just in the armory building there. I'll show you on the map for reference. And then you're going to want to come out and go into the next room over and then directly to your right there will be a hard drive for you to pick up in this location. And then from here just head up the stairs, be careful of all the traps, disarm them, do whatever. And then all the way to the end when you're on the second floor and to the right you'll be into this common room and you'll see a board game on the table, pick up the intel from on top of the board game. That's 7 intels out of 20 already in this map. The next one is closer to the B site. So as you are looking from the bridge that goes from A to B, you will see an archway that basically highlights the B building itself. And we're going to want to just go to the right of these two buildings here. So there's the archway with the barracks underneath it. So you can see the barracks is just there. We're going to want to go to the right and there's two large buildings. We're going to want to climb up the ladder here. And then we're going to make our way around left, climb over the buildings to the one closest to the road, and then right at the front of the building closest to the barracks will be a box, you can pick that up. And it's on this building specifically. Then you're going to want to parachute to the barracks itself, there are two on this barracks building. So go in the front door and then straight ahead of you, once you're in this sort of lounge area you'll see a table. And on top of that table will be a flash drive for you to pick up. So just pick it up from there. Nice and easy one to get to. Just wipe out all the enemies inside this building first, obviously. And then once you've done that, just turn around and you can go out the back door. And then you'll see a ladder to the left hand side. Climb up the ladder and the next intel will be just on the roof of the barracks building. So where the two satellites are on this sticky up bit of the building around to the back of that towards the skylight and you'll see another box you can pick up in this location.
Now heading around to the seaside, there is a bridge that crosses the water just south of the seaside itself. And this is actually where our next intel is. So in the middle of this bridge, there is a truck with its back doors open. Just go through the back doors and you will see another box. Just pick that up and you are good to go. Now we're at the seaside itself. It is the furthest south building, that little L-shaped building on the seaside, where there's quite a few in this location. So we are going to be making our way through quite a few buildings close by, but this is our first one, this little L-shaped building here. So once you're outside of it, you're going to want to go in the door that is closest to the road and the bridge. And then once you go through this door, hug round right and enter the kitchen. And then there is an intel on the countertop there. Then just make your way upstairs and enter the first room on your right. At the back of this room there will be a laptop. Pick up the intel from this laptop, it's a little USB. And then go in the next room. There are two things in here. The first is the intel on the table by the light. And then a desk key which you're going to need in a little while. Pick it up from the back of the room. You're going to need both of these before we can move on. Then after that we are at the next building north, looks like the little Wu-Tang Clan logo there. We're going to be going in the left side back door of this building. So once you have made your way over here, there are a couple of intel pieces in here that we're going to need to collect as well. So in the back left side door, go straight ahead you'll see another laptop, that'll have an intel piece in there. And then once you've done that, head into the middle of the room, still on the bottom floor, and there will be a hard drive for you to pick up on this L-shaped desk. Then you can head upstairs and then the L-shaped desk on the right hand side will have your 17th piece of intel. We're nearly done already. Look at that, nearly 20 pieces of intel and if you haven't got the achievement already you'll be coming up to that SSE achievement. Now for number 18 this is where you're going to require that desk key. So it is just north of that W-shaped building, the next L-shaped building north. Once you have located this building, just go through the front door and to the left hand side you'll see a desk. When you unlock that with the key, you'll find a folder in here. That is what you need to pick up. Number 19 is just across the road from the L-shaped building. There are two larger buildings just across the road. Number 19 is just on top of the one closest to the road here. So the easiest way is to climb up on this little awning here and then climb up again and then there's a ladder to the roof. You'll see another metal sticking up structure and then on the other side of that there is a box that you can pick up that is number 19. And then lastly we have the intel right by the extraction location so just before you're going to extract you will see two of these shelters with cars underneath them. Go to the right hand side and there will be a box just up against this wall here. So right before you extract, a nice easy one to get and that is all 20 in this location. Now we move on to denied area. Now there are a few of them that you are going to require a Geiger counter. So straight away from the start of the mission, you want to take out all the enemies in your way because there are a few intels in SAM site A. But before we get down to that, you'll see this little concrete structure here where you can find the RAF H, you'll also find a Geiger counter. So once you pick that up, you're going to want to activate your Geiger counter and direct yourself towards the intel. So the higher it is, obviously, the closer you are to the intel. Just follow it around. It can be in a random location, so it won't be exactly where you see me pick it up in this video. But as you can see, it is buried in the floor there. Just pick it up, and that is our first one here in this denied area map. The next one is at SAM site A itself. So when you're looking at the SAM site, all you need to do is go straight ahead of it towards where the rockets are facing. You'll see a small outbuilding and on the left hand side you'll see a small stool and that is where the next one is. Number three is located just behind the SAM site. You'll see a jeep on the entrance and this small comms area with a tent over the top. At the back it can spawn here on this desk. If it doesn't spawn here then it's got another chance of spawning just around to the left past where the grenade launcher is on the roof. You will see another similar comm style shelter and another similar table. It can spawn on that table as well. 
The next one is a little further on. You will see another few buildings that you'll come across. And this Z shaped one is the next one we're going to be going to. You'll know the location because you'll start getting shot up by a bunch of RPGs. But go in this Z shaped building, keep following it around to the right, and you'll soon see a table sitting in the middle of this area. You're going to pick up that folder from the table there, nice and easy. You can't really miss it. And then you're going to want to go a little further down in the same town to the C-shaped building now. This is quite a large building and there are two in this area. So go in the bottom floor of this area and to the right you'll see a bunch of medical beds. And then in the middle of the three medical beds you'll see an intel folder on the metal table. From here we can then move our way to the back of the building. Navigate your way through the rooms. And basically what you're going to want to do is head up onto the roof so get your way outside and you'll find plenty of ladders to get your way up to the roof. And then enter the bell tower. There is a door that you can enter and climb a ladder and you're going to want to climb all the way up to the top. Once you're at the top you'll see a Signal 50 sniper rifle and a folder sitting on the edge of this bell tower. Lovely view as well, but none of the enemies spawn from this far away so you won't be able to snipe them. And then a little bit further on in this same mass of buildings you will see this small Tetris piece style building right on the edge of town here. What you're going to want to do is make your way up to the second floor of this building. There are tons of ways you can do it from the inside or go on the outside stairs, which is what I do. So just go up the outside stairs and then go through the door or jump through the window. And then right by this TV, you will see another Intel just sitting there nice and easy. The next building over is actually the pumping station. You can see on the map, all of the pipes are leading in. These yellow pipes here, they're leading into this building. You can't really miss this building because there's tons of RPGs at fire here from here. But what you're going to want to do is go into this building and straight up the stairs to the right. Once you've done that, look straight ahead of you and you'll see a maintenance room with a red shelving unit here. You're going to want to pick up the intel on top of that shelving unit. Nice and easy. And obviously, like I said, you can't miss this building because of all the people that come out of it. Next up, you'll see a little fork in the road just outside of the previous town and a small mass of buildings in between them. This Z-shaped building in the middle of the cluster of buildings here is what we're going to need to go to. So there is an outside stairway that you can take up. You're going to want to go up to the second floor again. And then in the doorway, just behind the door, there is a TV and a cabinet. Just next to the TV is your next piece of intel. That is intel number 9 almost halfway there. Now we're at SAM site D, we're going to go D, B, then C because it is just the order that you'll do them going towards the extract. The first one is this Z-shaped building just to the right of the structures. Go up to the second floor and again just to the right of the door there is a cupboard but this time it's in the sticking out shelf. And then from here you're going to want to head to the actual SAM site itself. Obviously, clear out all the enemies in your path, but I've already done that to make this a little easier. And then right behind the SAM turret, you'll see a generator and a fuel tank. Right on that laptop there is your next piece of intel. Now at the same location, just at the bottom, you'll see a small guard shack. This is where your next piece of intel will be, so pick that up. And then one more in this location, you're going to need to whip out that guy counter of yours and find it. So just sit in the middle of this area and pull out the Geiger counter, it will pick up. And then you're just going to want to locate it, similar to how you did with SAM site A. Just make your way until it starts beeping at you more and more and you'll see it sticking out of the ground pretty easily. The next one is between SAM site D and SAM site B. We are going to go to this zigzag building right on the left side of this small cluster, right by the road. 
you're gonna to wanna to get up to the roof. There are multiple ways of doing it. You could do it the hard way like I did, or notice straight afterwards that there's a ladder that leads you right up to the top. So once you're on the roof, you'll see another box. Just pick that up, and that is your 14th piece of intel on denied area. Now we're at SAM site B, and right behind the SAM site, you'll see another shelter. This is literally here on the map. So right by the SAM site you'll see another open shelter. On the left hand side of this one you will find a laptop and inside that laptop will be a USB. That will be your 15th piece of intel. And now your 16th piece of intel is just behind you. You'll see a watchtower. And then if you go up to the base of the watchtower there are two locations it can spawn. The first one is this table just to the left here. It can spawn on the corner. But if it doesn't then just look behind you. You'll see another comm center and then it will spawn on this table just on the corner there. Now we're at SAM site C. This is the last site that you'll come to before exfil. Looking at the SAM site, do a 180 degree turn and turn north. You'll see a building on its own. Go through the blue doors and head through the building. Make your way upstairs. Then enter the room to the left and you'll see a TV on a cabinet and right behind the TV will be your piece of intel. From here, you can go upstairs, jump off of the roof if you want to, because why not? And then head to the right, you'll see a building with a truck in it. The small little truck depot is where you're going to need to go for your 18th piece of intel. Just to the right of the truck, there's a folder sitting on this metal shelving. Now, the last two require your Geiger counter. The first one will start pinging when you're around this location just where the road starts arcing. So just whip out your Geiger counter, follow it around. As long as it keeps counting up, you're going in the right direction. Nice and easy to find these, they're not too difficult at all. As long as you know roughly where to pull out your Geiger counter, you'll be absolutely fine. Like I say, all of the Geiger counter ones are in a weird location, but as long as you come to the rough area, you should be fine. And then 20 out of 20 for denied area is just slightly east of the previous location in this forested area here. Just whip out the Geiger counter and then you'll find a box sitting by one of these trees. Just pick it up and that is all 20 for denied area. Now there are only 10 in Defender Mount Zaya. The first one is at the A site. Once you're in the underground area, in the main bit of site A, you'll see there is a folder sitting on top of the command center here. Nice and easy one to get to. And then from here, you're going to want to go to the dome, which is closer to site B. And go through into the dome building itself, and then keep an eye out, look around, but it is actually 9 times out of 10 going to spawn on this desk over here by all the old CRT monitors. If it doesn't, then it'll spawn on another desk inside that room. Next up, we're gonna go back into site A, but closer to the dome side. As you enter the bunker, you'll see a fallen over bit of equipment and the hard drive will be just behind that fallen over bit of equipment there. Number four is at site B again, but this time we're gonna wanna head into the far west building as soon as you enter, take a right and you'll see a wooden desk and a flash drive sitting on there, nice and easy to pick up. Number 5 is the L-shaped building by Site C. Go in the very right side of it, head to the back, you'll see some metal filing cabinets and just on that little wooden bench there is your next piece of intel. That is intel piece number 5, nice and easy. Number six is in the observatory just behind site C. There are three locations it can spawn, so it can be a little confusing, but what you're gonna wanna do is go inside and then up the stairs. And then once you're on the second floor, there are three desks on the second floor just by the stairway here that they can actually spawn on top of. So you can find them on these desks over here. If they're not here, then just jump down to the actual telescope itself and then you'll see a monitor with two of the same image on it right by the keyboard the intel can spawn there as it did for me and then if not make your way down to the door you just entered it's a little bit of a maze so just find a stairway that leads you downwards and 
then just by the door closest to C, there is a small command room. And inside there, there is a desk with some files on it. And it's spawned by those files there. The L-shaped building right by the supplies area is where we're going to go next. Inside this building is a warehouse. And in the warehouse, as soon as you go in, there is a wooden box with an Intel piece on it just by the door right there. And in the same building, but off on the other end of it now, there is an office area. As soon as you come in from this side, there are two locations it can spawn. It can spawn in this small filing cabinet here, or head to the north side of the building and you will see a larger filing cabinet where it's blown open. It can spawn in there as well. Now the last two require a little bit of challenge. The first one is you're gonna to need to save $8,000 for the Juggernaut. And once you've bought the Juggernaut, you will be able to equip it, but equip it close to site B. And once you've done that, you will gear up, music will start playing, it'll be a great time, and you're gonna to wanna to come to these small buildings right here on the map. The very far one is what you're gonna to need to do. You're gonna to need to use your Juggernaut to burst open this locked door, and then you need to run to that desk. As you notice, I've just been teleported. Great, right? You only get a couple of seconds to get this one before it teleports you back to site B. So if it doesn't work the first time, just head back to that small building the door stay unlocked, just run and keep spamming your pickup button. And keep looking, you saw the intel there, it pops up, but we just don't get it in time. All you need to do is keep running until you get it. You will eventually, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. So here you go, third time's the charm. Go through that door, keep spamming it, and as you can see, I picked it up just before I was teleported. And then the last intel, 50 out of 50 or 10 out of 10 for this one, you're gonna wanna come to this location on the map and you'll see a vending machine. You need $20,000 to actually use this vending machine to so save up. Once you've done that, put it in the vending machine and it will do its thing and an intel will pop out of it. That is all 50 intels for the free missions we currently have. Once you've got all 50 pieces of intel, you will find yourself with this nice weapon blueprint. It is a five shot revolver, does quite a bit of damage up close, but it is terrible with accuracy. And you'll find that not many people after unlocking it will actually use it while actually playing their games. It's definitely not gonna be meta, that's for sure. But it's a nice little reward. Also, as you progress, you'll get a calling card and an emblem and stuff like that as well. So a nice little thing for unlocking them all. If this video helped you out, a like's always appreciated. I've spent a lot of time making this one. So I really do appreciate you watching it to this point in the video. Thank you so much. If you need anything else, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think of Modern Warfare 2 so far in general because there are mixed opinions. I find it great, but you know, there are a lot of bugs as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.